Hello guys, it's Shagoon here from Switzerland with another video from my HTC Magic, also known as my Touch 3G. Uh, showing you some more stuff I got from the market. Uh, in this video I'd like to focus on some more emulators, but these are really the best I've played so far. And these are the following ones. Uh, I'm going to show you quite a bunch. Game Boy Lite, which is a uh, Game Boy Advance emulator, Nessoid, NES emulator, Genzoid, which is a Sega Genesis emulator, and SNESoid, which is a Super Nintendo emulator. Now these emulators are all from the same developer, and they are all um, actually so, uh, out uh, quite some time already, but I couldn't sh uh, show you them until now, because in the new versions, which was just uh, recently um, uh, given to the market, you have touchscreen controls, which means you can play all these emulators um, on the HTC Magic, HTC Hero and all other upcoming touchscreen Android devices. So let's jump into the first one here, Game Boy Light is a Game Boy Advance emulator. Let's go first into the settings menu to show you. Here you can uh, enable sound, scaling mode. Uh, key settings, uh, here you see uh, you have virtual keyboard. You can use the trackball as D-pad, which is very good for role-playing games, so you can only swipe it once in the direction, and he forever walks in this direction. So let's go anyway to the key settings here. Of course you can play them also on the G1, and set all uh, buttons as hardware. Keyboard buttons, which also works great. And I used the A button and B button as search and back button, which is quite um, works quite good. So let's just jump into a game here. Here you have the control, like on the Game Boy you have select and start and you can also turn it landscape and will auto -ret rotate. Let's open a game here. Let's open a uh, Mario Kart. <laughs> you see I use um, search and back button as A and B keys and this as control keys. Let's go more GP. Let's select here. I don't know. Let's select Wario. You see, the graphic is quite good, uh, just like you would expect it from the real Game Boy Advance. And you see, it runs quite smooth. The sound is also quite good. The controller is also pretty good uh, with this touchscreen keyboard. Although it is not um, comparable to a real hardware joystick, which would be even better. But it works fine and I think you get used to it. Well, I don't seem to be used to get used to it right now. But uh, it's, it's like the second time I play this. So let's go back here, show you another game. Um, no. um, let's show you. Now, as I said, it is, um, these are only the light versions. This, these are the free versions, versions I'm showing you. There are also paid versions in the market available, but not in my market because I'm in Europe and they don't have paid apps available, so I have to get used to the uh, um, light version, which is not as smooth, I guess and not as working as good as the paid version and the thing here is I, I'm not able to save and load um, games which means I always have to start from the beginning on again so let's skip here quickly through this so I can show you Pokemon Emerald on this Game Boy Advance emulator quickly yeah. <coughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. 
And of course in the paid version you will be able to load and save your status without problems. So here we have Pokemon, Emerald. Don't be shocked, the screen size is much bigger, just because I'm here in the in the house, uh, it doesn't go full screen. So here we go. You see, it, it looks pretty, pretty well. It is also not laggy at all. And it's Pokemon roleplay game, so it doesn't matter if it has some lag, but I couldn't find any uh, one, actually. So here giving you a slight impression of Pokemon Emerald. So let's quit this um, right here. Okay, now blank screen again. I'm sorry, but this is really a problem with the MyTouch Switch E. It seems he has not just not, not mm, good enough processor or RAM or ROM or whatever. But if I'm leaving for an application that needs a lot of uh, phone's attention, which like this emulator and the skip right to the home screen I see a blank screen for some seconds which is really really annoying it's like hundreds time I get this so now it doesn't react come on and these are some minor problems you will have or already have with the Mitre 3G so let's what I want to show you. A Nessoid um, is not actually necessary because I showed the GG Ness Lite uh, and it works just as good. But with of course with the same uh, touchscreen control as you saw in the Game Boy Lite. So Gensoid Lite, a Sega Genesis emulator, works also pretty well. And you let's uh, open a ROM here. Settings menu is just the same. Uh, I have here only two Sonic and Mortal Kombat. Let's try the Sonic. Here you see the same control. <coughs> you see it really looks also good. It works also pretty smooth, although there is some minor lag, but I guess this will also be bad in the paid version. So that's the uh, Genzoid Lite emulator. Let's quit this here. Ah, no blank screen here. Very good. Uh, well, last but not least, I'm going to show you the Super Nintendo emulator Lite. Let's um, open here a ROM. Uh, let's take. Super Mario Kart, Super Mario All-Stars. <laughs> now I can choose between, let's take the newest one, Super Mario 3 here. And it also works really good and looks very nice with the colors and everything. Again here a to jump this key and to control this which works pretty well. Okay again. Now uh, these are the Four really good emulators, all from the same developer, which are the most, the best emulators available on Android market, and they are really good to play on a touchscreen Android device. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment, and I hope you enjoyed.